About every 10 minutes an Australian has a heart attack, but 80% of heart disease is preventable. A healthy diet can improve heart health and can prevent heart disease and heart attack. Creating environments that give Australians healthier options is a major goal of the Heart Foundation. Some groups in our community have less access to healthy food, for example, people living in remote and rural areas, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, and people from culturally and linguistically diverse backgrounds. It is a particular priority of the Heart Foundation to ensure better access to good food for these groups. Everyone can make three simple changes to reduce their risk of developing heart disease. These are eat less saturated fat and replace with unsaturated fat, eat less salt, and eat more fruit and vegetables. Making these changes can have many other benefits. You may feel healthier as a result, have more energy, and find it easier to maintain a healthier weight. Saturated fat is found in a range of foods, including fatty meats, the skin on chicken, butter and full fat dairy products, and many takeaway foods. Eating saturated fat increases our total cholesterol level, and particularly LDL cholesterol, also known as the bad cholesterol. High levels of total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol are strongly associated with heart disease. Healthier unsaturated fats include monounsaturated and the polyunsaturated fats omega-3 and omega-6. These fats help to reduce the LDL or bad cholesterol and help to increase the HDL or good cholesterol. This helps to reduce your risk of developing heart disease. Healthier fats can be found in foods like avocados, nuts, salmon and tuna, vegetable margarines, and sunflower oil. To help you get started on reducing saturated fat, here are five simple changes that you can start making today. Swap full fat dairy products for low, no, or reduced fat dairy products for everyone in the family over two years of age. You can save up to four kilograms of saturated fat in one year, just by doing this with one cup of milk, two slices of cheese, and one tub of yogurt each day. Swap butter for vegetable margarines. By doing this with your morning toast and sandwiches on a daily basis, you can save up to 2.85 kilograms of saturated fat in one year. Trim all visible fat from meat, remove the skin from chicken, and avoid processed meats like sausages and salami. Serve up three portions of oily fish a week, that is salmon, tuna, and sardines. A portion is 150 grams, or roughly about the size of your hand. Choose healthier treats. Cakes, pastries and biscuits are one of the main sources of saturated fat in our diets. Raisin bread, high fibre cereal and nut bars, whole grain crackers and dried fruit and nuts are healthier snack options. Limit foods like pizza, pastries, fried fish, hamburgers and creamy pasta dishes to just once per week. Another important dietary change is to eat less salt. Salt is found in most of the foods we eat, but most of the salt, about 75%, comes from processed foods like breads, breakfast cereals, canned vegetables, and sauces. A high salt intake can cause high blood pressure and increased risk of heart disease and stroke. The average Australian adult consumes about nine grams of salt every day, which is around one and a half teaspoons. The Heart Foundation recommends that all Australians should reduce salt consumption to less than five grams or one teaspoon each day to reduce risk of heart disease. Up to 6,000 Australian lives could be saved every year if we can reduce Australian intake of salt by 30%. So how do you reduce your salt intake? Avoid adding salt to food. When you're in the supermarket, choose no added salt, low salt or reduced salt products. Salt is listed as sodium on nutrition information panels. A level of less than 120 milligrams per 100 grams is considered to be a low salt food. If this number is higher than 500 milligrams, it is a high salt food. Swap added salt for herbs and spices for extra flavor. Take a look at the nutrition information panel. There are five main things to look out for when shopping for food. To make it easier to compare products, go straight to the per 100 grams column. Kilojoules. These are listed under energy and are another way to talk about calories. When comparing two products, choose the food with the lower number. Fiber. Fiber comes from whole grains and fruits and vegetables. When comparing two products, choose the food with the higher number. Saturated fat. As already mentioned, to reduce total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol, this number should be as low as possible. And don't forget sodium. 
a low salt food has less than 120 milligrams per 100 grams, and if the number is over 500 milligrams per 100 grams, it is a high salt food. One of the most important parts of a healthy diet is fruit and vegetables, for many reasons. They're an excellent source of antioxidants, which help prevent heart disease. They're a great source of soluble fibre, which can reduce cholesterol. And importantly, they're very low in kilojoules, which can help you manage your weight. So you should aim to eat a variety of at least five serves of vegetables and two serves of fruit every day. Remember, a serving of vegetables is 75 grams or half a cup of cooked vegetables, one medium potato or one cup of salad vegetables. A serving of fruit is 150 grams. That's one medium sized piece of fruit, two small fruits like apricots or one cup of canned or chopped fruits. Fresh, frozen, canned and dried fruits and vegetables can all count towards your daily quota. Frozen vegetables are very convenient and can be just as nutritious as fresh vegetables. Steamers and microwaves are a great way to cook vegetables because they help to retain vitamins and minerals. The Heart Foundation is proud to be a source of accurate and useful information on healthy eating to prevent heart disease. But we can't do this work on our own. Most people wouldn't know that the Heart Foundation receives minimal government funding. Most of our funding comes from you, Australians. Almost half of all donations the Heart Foundation receives comes from gifts in wills and help to fund our major projects, including world-class research, education and community programs. If you'd like to help make more breakthroughs possible and heal more Australian hearts, then call the Heart Foundation.